Western Times Harbour and here checking out the new HTC A9, which is ACC's latest flagship handset. The A9, which is coming out uh, this winter, is um, uh, all aluminum uh, unibody phone, which is a, kind of a successor to the M9, but is, is more of a mid-range device, so it's powered by a Snapdragon 617 SoC. Uh, very reminiscent of the iPhone in its design and style, but as HTC liked to remind us in our briefing, uh, HTC was one of the first companies to come up with an aluminum unibody design anyway, so uh, you can't really say that they're copying the iPhone, uh, more like the iPhone maybe was copying HTC. So around back here we have a 13 megapixel camera. Uh, they weren't able to disclose the sensor, but um, uh, we have to guess what that is. There's a dual LED flash. Um, it is going to have a manual mode, so there will be a pro mode that includes raw, uh, raw uh, capture. Uh, it's f2.0 aperture, but we're not sure whether it have, has a phase attack autofocus, but I'm sure more details like that will be announced in the future. Um, Non-removable battery, which is standard for most HTC phones now, is 2150 milliamp hours, so it's not the largest battery out there. But keep in mind, around the front of the phone here, we have a 5-inch uh, 1080p display, so the power consumption of this display is not going to be as high as some of the bigger and higher resolution screens of other phones. So on the bottom here, we have the USB 2 port, and we have a downward-facing speaker, and we have the headphone jack. So here is the uh, home button, and um, this actually is also a, a fingerprint, touch-sensitive fingerprint reader. So this is one of the f uh, first fingerprint readers for HTC so phones available in North America. Uh, we have the traditional on-screen buttons, which has been the standard for HTC phones for quite a while. On this side here, we have the textured power button, we have the volume control, and then we have a micro SD slot. So HTC is still offering micro SD and the SIM card slot. Um, just to quickly go over the software, this is running HTC, uh, sorry, Android M, Android Marshmallow, and HTC said this will be one of the first non-Nexus phones to be running Android's latest version of Android's OS. So, of course, it uh, supports things like Android Pay, Now on Tap, etc. Another big feature that HTC told us today was that fact that HTC is now scaled back on its own custom app, uh, applications. So this is a more stock version of Android. Um, we do see still the same sort of custom HTC launcher, so the app drawer and the menu buttons, uh, the menu and stuff is still going to be more HTC-like, but you won't see as many duplicate applications. So for example, the mail, HTC mail app is now being replaced by the standard stock Google app. So this will mean that updates, etc., will come to the device faster than previous versions of HTC's phones. So this has been a quick look at the new HTC A9, which is a 617-powered mid-range device with a 5-inch display that's coming out later this year. This is Alex and Tom's Hardware. Thanks for watching.